today is going to be all about drawer organization. Drawer organizing, organizing in drawers, camera gear. If these were stolen, that would be drawer organized crime, right? Basically, if you've ever seen camera bags that look like this, it's really nice, but you can kind of see there are these different dividers, these padded dividers that are held together with all these different pins. This is awesome. It looks good, it works good. It's way better than the like pluck and pick foam that you can't replace afterwards. The only problem is that even though you can buy individual things for like interiors of bags, it's really expensive. This is smaller than the drawer that I need to organize and it would be that much money. But you can kind of see here how everything is supposed to lock together. And then you can even get these kits that have like foam pads and things to go under and above it, which is all great. It's just all really expensive. So the homemade version only requires three things. The first one is this, some kind of piece of corrugated plastic. I can put links to everything I'm using if you want to try it. I got blue for obvious reasons. You could probably use cardboard if you wanted, but I feel like it's not going to be as durable. This is still pretty lightweight like this. You know, it basically floats. <laughs> this doesn't really weigh anything. But the important thing is that it does have some structure. It does, I guess, let you cut it somehow. And most importantly, it has these holes right here, these ridges along the edge that let you actually, that's how you connect everything. I think starting with the lens drawer is a good place to go because right now I have the lenses laying out, which does look really nice, but they could stand up. There's plenty of space. Like this is, this is a really big lens, this 75 millimeter anamorphic. It's a tall lens, but even that one can easily fit in here. The problem is the movement of the drawer makes the lens fall over. So I could do dividers and then have the lenses up like this, or I could do dividers and leave them laying out. I kind of like the way they look laying out. If you want to do this on a really small budget, I've heard people say they just use bobby pins, but I did actually buy the official Pelican Trek Pack pins just because they're a little more heavy duty. I hope I have enough actually. It was like 10 pins for $10. These are pretty heavy duty like bobby pins basically. And then you have these little felt things that go on top of them. So if you want to go the absolute cheapest route, this is really all you need is this plastic or something like this, and then some bobby pins to pin it together. But if you want to kind of be a little more legit, you can also use this, which is a sheet of self-adhesive neoprene. So this is a quarter inch of foam. It has a self-adhering back. And this makes it much more like the actual product because it's, it's really soft. So if you're putting this in a camera bag, especially in my case, it's a drawer. The drawer shouldn't really move that much, so I don't necessarily need a lot of padding. But if you were putting this in an actual like Pelican case or camera bag that's going to be moved a lot, this will help you protect everything that, you know, would be shaken around a lot otherwise. But it's always best to be safe with camera gear. So basically, I'm going to stick this on the blue stuff, then stick it together. And then that's pretty much going to be it. I did some math. I think the place to start is to outline the perimeter of that drawer with this stuff so that way I can then add in dividers and stuff and change them easily over time. I've got the perimeter done and from here it looks pretty nice. If you get close to it, it kind of looks like garbage, but it's okay. It works and the little pins hold everything together. I have more than enough of the plastic, but I don't have nearly enough of the neoprene. But these two compartments right here, check it out. I can put the 75 millimeter anamorphic and the 50. And I can shake the drawer and those aren't going anywhere and they're nice and protected. So I think what will be best is I can put my other three Sony lenses, 24, 85, and 50 right here. I just have another thing here. I'm not being very precise about this. I'm just kind of pushing it in and then it just kind of bends where it goes and I can cut it right here and then trace it on the neoprene. You can still kind of save it by stretching it as you stick it to the back. Press it all down and do the other side. 
And it's funny because the original video I made on my main channel for those drawers and organizing everything was sponsored by Gear Focus. And I actually found the instructions on how to do this on the Gear Focus YouTube channel. So thanks Gear Focus for sponsoring this idea and that other video too. It doesn't look too bad. I like the blue because it's a nice accent and with the black pads. Uh, the only problem is these are all of the pins that I got. These lenses, plus I have like this one and one more, pretty much took up this whole drawer, but now they take up literally like a third of the drawer. So I have a lot more space, which is pretty cool. So if I can do that with that drawer and the one with my camera bodies in it, I can probably get a lot more use out of these drawers. Here's some aftermath mess that needs to get picked up, but I pretty much used up all the usable neoprene. So this is kind of what the dividers look like. It's like a little plastic neoprene sandwich. So just in case you're wondering, this was the grand total for all of this, which I guess to be fair, an official Trek pack of this size would probably cost about $150. So it is cheaper, but it's also like cheaper. It's like, you know, the dollar store version. Wish.com. I should also mention that I did use a little bit of this double-sided tape, a very little bit, to attach the perimeter sections to the edge of the drawer. Friction kind of held them in place enough, but I thought just to be safe, I put some of this there. So I did end up just using bobby pins to finish the sections that I didn't have enough pins for. But there we go. Got foam over here. This is actually just for the thumbnail. It doesn't even go in there. So I do have quite a bit more space in this drawer, which is pretty cool. I have two lenses that aren't in here right now, which one could go here, my 24 to 105, and then this 24 millimeter, I guess could go somewhere, and I have a ton more space. So all in all, I guess I would say that this style of organization is a win. It's like way more efficient, and everything's way safer, but this like budget friendly version, it was cheaper, but the actual version would be way less work and way sturdier, higher quality, and just probably better overall. I'm gonna live with this for a bit, and if I like it, then I guess I just need to order some more neoprene and little pins, and then I can just keep, keep going until I run out of plastic, which I have like plenty of plastic for. So, I think it's a fun project, it's kind of a pain in the butt, the results are good, but not as good as they'd be if you just spent the money on the official stuff. But I also just did not want to spend hundreds of dollars on drawer organizers.